Hey, Mike, I got a board meeting coming up. Uh, great job on the forecast. I really appreciate all the reps' hard work on that. Can you condense it down to a commitment? You want a commitment, Jack? I'll get the team on it immediately. I'll use this as a coaching opportunity with Cooperative. Get him on track and in order. Hey, I spent the whole weekend getting the forecast just right for my new manager so he'll be prepared for the board meeting. But yet he still calls me. <laughs> hey, Micro. Okay, Cooperative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the forecast. It's looking good. Okay, but um, yeah, I spent the whole weekend on it. But Jack wants a commitment. Yeah, a commitment. You need a commit? Yeah, well, that's my forecast number. It's different than your quota. It's what you're committing to the company. Okay, I'll update it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, what's your best case? You, no, th this is like your, your top line, best case, if everything goes well. Now, on the other side of that, what's your worst case? What is your most likely? Can you get me a stretch number? Yeah, a stretch number. This is like better than most likely, but more than your commitment. And it's something you're really stretching for. Well, as you can see, a well-oiled sales machine requires a lot of input from our reps. Now let's go into which deals make up each of these numbers. No more forecast reviews, please. <laughs> when you're a sales pro like me, you realize if you just have a straight forecast, the meetings are too short. You got to come up with all these clever ways of tricking the reps to see what they're really thinking. And if they're really thinking, which we know they're not. Tell them we just don't want a regular commitment. We want a blood commitment.